Hi guys, it's Julian and welcome back to the Real Stars YouTube channel. Today, Uncle Ayo will be taking us um, on goal setting and teaching us how we can set our goals because it's a new year and we don't want to waste another year of our lives. So we have to set goals to achieve so we have a fulfilled year. So Uncle Ayo will be taking us on that. But before we get into the message, let's say a quick prayer. Dear God, we thank you for the gift of life. Thank you because we are alive today. We ask, Lord, that you would teach us and inspire us through your word. We ask that our year, this, our 2022, will not be a waste, it will be successful. In Jesus' name we pray. All right, let's get into the message. Hi, my name is Ayo. Today we'll be talking about goal setting, and it's about that time in the year where we should basically talk about what do we want to achieve in this new year. So the first question I would like to ask us is, have you ever considered watching a football match without goalposts? What will be the outcome? Your guess is as good as mine. Confusion? Fighting? Exhaustion? Because there's no aim, there's nothing to achieve. Everybody will just be playing the ball all across the pitch to achieve nothing. And that could be the plan for somebody in 2022. So you need to take goal setting very seriously. When December comes and you are doing your stock taking, what will be your achievement for the new year? In the Bible, Habakkuk 2 verse 2, it reads, write the vision, make it plain on tablets, that he who runs may read it. Verse 3, for the vision is yet for the appointed time, and it hurries towards the end, and would prove false. Though it may take time, wait for it. It will surely come. It won't delay. It's clearly written that you definitely must have things you want to achieve and you need to document them. So let's move straight. What are goals? So we could basically say goals are your art desires, the things you want to achieve, but they could just remain as a desire if there's no action or there are no set out plan put together to make these desires come to pass. So I could say um, my goal for 2022 is to play the saxophone. That's my desire. But I must have daily, weekly, or possibly monthly targets that I must achieve come December 2022. I should be able to play the saxophone very well. Every area of your life requires that you set goals for them. That makes you a balanced Christian. And when I talk about areas of your life, I mean your spiritual life. So you need to set spiritual goals. How do you want to make the communication between you and your God more, better, or improved in this new year? Spiritual goals are very, very important. A man is made up of spirit, soul, and body. If you're taking, part, if you're taking care of the spiritual part, your physical body, you need to set health goals. How healthy do you want to live in this new year? You need to set, set financial goals. How much money do you want to make? How much savings, investments, and how much do you want to spend in this year? Do you want to spend all that you earn? Without a plan, you definitely be running into debt by December. Areas of your life that you also need to set goals, academics. What do you want to achieve in school? Your grades. Do you want to get better? Do you want to go the other way? Your choice is as good as mine. Family and social goals, very important. You have friends, even on social media. So the question is, how do you want to manage your friendship, both online and offline? So you need to set family and social goals. And last but not the least, your career or your vocation. For me, my vocation is learning how to play the saxophone very well before the end of 2022. So I need to set clear goals 
on how to achieve this. And that tells you that for me to be a balanced person, I must set goals across every area of my life to make this a reality. Why is goal setting important? It is important because goals are your letters, the letters you've written to yourselves of things you want to achieve for a period or for a lifetime. So if you have a desire to achieve something, you definitely need to have goals. And when you have goals, you must set them down and come up with templates of how to achieving it. The other reason why you need to set up goals is because it helps you to track your progress. If you know that you want to play saxophone very well, by the end of the day or the end of the year, when you pick up a saxophone, the level at which you flow playing it will determine whether you've made with progress or you are retrogressing. So goal setting definitely will help you track your progress appropriately. It also helps you to develop your God-given potentials and helps you to focus and manage resources all around you. The next I'd like to talk about is why do people run away from setting goals? People run away from setting goals, some because of fear of failure, they don't want to be tagged as failure. Some don't set goals because of having a predetermined mind, a mindset that goal settings are not important. That's, those are things they've heard from their friends, that why are you wasting your time setting goals? By February, you are going to depart from it and you just start living your life on default. That is what has pushed some people to the backside of not setting goals anymore. Some also stop setting goals because of lack of self-discipline. If you cannot control yourself or you have habits that have overtaken you, you are trying to stop them, but they've taken full charge of your life. Definitely, you have no reason to set goals for them because You've taken, you've accepted defeat in that aspect of your life. All right, we've been speaking about goals, goals, goals. Let's break it down. We have three major types of goals. We have the short-term goals, we have the long-term goals, and we have the lifetime goals. The short-term goals, as the name implies, these are goals that you set out to achieve in a short period, about 12 months or less. So for example, this year, I want to learn how to play the saxophone in 12 months. So it's a short-term goal. Long-term goals are goals that will require much more time to achieve. Take for example, you just entered into the high school and your target is you want to have good grades, five A's to get into the university. So you see that those kind of goals are things you will achieve in three years or five years' times. Those are long-term goals. But you can only achieve them when you've been able to achieve the short-term goals that are targeted towards these long-term goals. So they are gradual. The short-term goals, you achieve them back to back. Then your long-term goals, achieving them will become an easy reality. The lifetime goals are the ones you want to achieve in your lifetime. Take, for example, someone will say, I want to set up a music foundation before I'm 50, I'm 20 years now. In 30 years time, that is what I want to achieve. You can see it's a lifetime achievement. So these three major types of goals will help you categorize and know what you should focus on per time. Another reason why some people fail to set goals is they don't know how to set priorities. Imagine if I put the priority right now on achieving what I want to achieve as a lifetime goal and I'm abandoning what I'm supposed to achieve in a short term, the result is inevitable, it's failure. So, now that we know that we need to concentrate on the short-term goals, we have our, our gaze on the long-term goals, and definitely, this will help us to make our lifetime goals an easy reality. For every goal to be achievable or to make sense, particularly the short-term goals. I want to focus on the short-term goals because we need them on day-to-day -day basis. We need to achieve them before your long-term goals can even make, make any sense to anybody. So your short-term goals must have these qualities that have been summarized into an acronym called SMART. So the S stands for specific. For every goal, it must be specific. You must be able to hit the nail on the head directly so that when you say it, it's clear to you 
that this is what I want to achieve. Let me give you an example. Don't say, I want to improve my saxophone playing skills in 2022. That's nothing. But if I am specific about it and say, I want to be able to play the national anthem by the end of this year, I'm focused. That is what I want to achieve this year. Even though if I achieve other things alongside the national anthem, it's a plus for me. So just leaving it open-ended and saying, I want to improve my skills. Just playing do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do is improving of your skills. But I've not achieved anything in the real sense of it. The next acronym, which is M, is measurable. Can you quantify? Can you measure your progress? And this is about the playing of the saxophone. It's not because, it's not by picking the saxophone and playing it. I must have been able to read some books. So I give myself a target that I want to read at least a book, a musical book on saxophone every month. It looks very simple, but I want to be able to measure it. So at the end of this month, if I've not read any book, definitely I know that I've not done anything this month. So it helps me to be able to measure my progress and then track it and know whether these short-term goals can be achieved eventually. The next acronym, A, is attainable. You need to set goals that you can achieve. Do not put yourself under pressure where you set up goals that are ambiguous or they are too difficult to achieve and eventually makes you frustrated, demotivated, and not even interested in going on with the process of achieving your goals for the year eventually. Say, for example, I want to play the saxophone in one week. Is it possible? Maybe for those that are geniuses, it might be possible. But for a rookie like me that don't even know the body parts of a saxophone, I don't think that is achievable. So, if you must set up goals, please be considerate to what you can do per time. The next acronym is R. It asks to be relevant. Ensure that your goal is relevant to what you want to achieve. You need to be able to understand that the time and the focus you are giving to that goal is applicable at that time, for that time. Take for example, I have an exam next month and I'm setting goals that I should achieve in the same month. In the order of priority, which one is more important? Definitely my exams comes first. So at that particular time, Anything about saxophone may not be realistic. So you need to make sure that your goals are relevant at that particular time. The next I would like to speak about is time bound. For every goal we set, without putting any time associated to it, ends to nothing. So please ensure you give yourself a time and that will put you a bit under pressure because it requires a level of sacrifice for you to be able to do that. So I could say I want to complete learning how to play um, the national anthem in three months or in two weeks or in one month. I set a time bound for myself. But don't just leave it open and say um, I should be able to play the saxophone without any time. You could actually be able to play that in 30 years time or in 40 years time. But is that what you want to achieve? Is it a lifetime goal? So please, this acronym SMART is very, very important. So for every goals you set, measure it across this acronym and be sure that you are doing the right thing. And definitely, if you do the right thing, the results definitely will come your way. The next I would like to speak about is the shortcuts. I want to give you some tips on how to crush your goals. Very, very wonderful nuggets that will be of very good help to you. The first is, please, you need to be able to visualize your goals. If there's anything you want to do for me, I want to learn how to play the saxophone. All I need to do right now is to cut pictures or clips about saxophone, paste it in my locker in school, paste it in my wardrobe. I sleep, I wake up, I seek saxophone. It inspires what I want to achieve. But if I don't see it around, if I can't visualize it, it's very difficult for me to be, I might be interested in the first week of this new year. But in the first week of the next month, I might not be interested. I might be interested in playing the drums. You can say I'm already derailing from what I set out to achieve. So for everything you want to do, try and visualize it. Put it around you. 
That is the first step of achieving your goals. The next is be accountable. Get somebody that can hold you accountable to your goals. Discuss your goals with somebody you trust. Your parents, your teachers, your mentors, people that can ask you, how far have you gone with what you said you want to achieve in the year? If nobody cares about you, definitely, it's just a matter of time. You will leave your goals and follow someone else's goals. The next nugget I would like to leave with you, surround yourself with positive-minded people. People that have their own goals and they are working towards achieving them. You can run your ideas across yourself and be able to um, encourage yourselves and positively motivate yourselves to achieving your goals individually. The next I would like to leave with you is increase your willpower to be able to overcome self. Some people are working on overcoming habits that have held them bound due to one reason or the other. So you need to be able to increase your willpower where you'll be able to do things differently and be focused on achieving your goals at the long run. The next is you must be able to track your progress. Measure or periodically measure your progress. What have I achieved this month? What have I achieved this six months? And then you can know the level of effort you need to put when you are re-strategizing for the next set of goals. Celebrate your small wins. If you can play do, re mi fa sol la ti do, if that is all you can play in a month, celebrate yourself. Encourage yourself. Don't just be looking at the, the, the big goal itself and then let the small wins that you have take you up. And the final thing I want to speak about is you need to seek professional or an expert advice. If there's something you've tried over and over and you've never achieved it, get somebody to help. And I'm sure the person definitely being a teacher or a mentor or your parents, because they are more exposed and experienced, they'll be willing to give you some of the tips or even hold your hand across the whole process. And finally, you also need to understand that um, your personality type could actually have a way of affecting your goals. So you need to read up about personality type. Are you choleric? Are you a sanguine? Are you a melancholic? Are you um, a phlegmatic person? This personality, the way we are wired, has a way of um, affecting the way we operate with our goals. Take, for example, for the sanguines, they love to chit chat, they love to make friends, they love to play, make everybody happy. But because of that, they tend to forget about their goals. So you could see that most of the time, when they set time to achieve things for themselves, they end up not being able to achieve it because their focus is trying to make everybody around them happy. So you could see that their personality type can have a way of affecting them achieving their goals. So if you know that your personality type could wire you in such a way, so it helps you to be able to manage your time very well, you still display and um, deploy your personality to the benefit of everybody. But at the same time, you'll be able to work on your goals. Finally, on a very final note, please ensure that your goals are glorifying to God and also to mankind. Because if I want to play the saxophone, for example, I want to be able to play it in a church where I can praise God and help every other person to praise God. For somebody you want to learn how to focus or how to be smart at doing some other things, do not let your goals glorify the devil. Ensure that these goals are of great importance and adding great value to the body of Christ and also God himself. And if you want God to be satisfied, and even bless you in return for blessing mankind and humanity around him, you need to definitely submit all that you want to achieve to God because he is there to help you to make these things come to reality. All right, so I'm here to help you to get that connection back to your creator. So bow your heads, close your eyes, and let's pray together. Say after me, dear Lord, I admit I've fallen short of what you want for me. I've come to ask for forgiveness. Accept me because I'm accepting Jesus as my Lord. Help me to be a better person this year and many more years to come. In Jesus' name, amen. Guys, you've done the right part. Welcome on board. Coming back to God is the very first step of achieving your goals. He is the master planner that can help you to plan your life. 
He knows your end from the beginning. You've done the best thing. So now that you're with God, it's very easy to achieve the plans He has set out for you. So right now, learn to pray every day. Read your Bible regularly. And I believe the inspirations will come on you as goals. And then you'll be able to document them down. Set targets and you start achieving them. Thank you very much for your time. I hope these few minutes we've shared together has been of great blessing to you. Please watch this over and over and I believe God will inspire your heart to be able to achieve more. Thank you very much. God bless you. I celebrate you always. My name is Ayo. Bye. My name is Treasure and here with me is Treasure. So today Uncle Ayo talked to us about goal setting. He talked he explained to us what goals are that they are um, things we put down for like our schedule for the year. It helps us to like manage our time throughout the year. He also talked to us about our guidelines that we use to set our goals. He used the acronym SMART. Can you please explain that? S for, S for specific, mm -hmm. M for measurable, A for achievable or attainable, R for realistic, and T for time bound. And when you say your goals should be specific, it means you, you must know what you're setting your goals for. And you just, for example, you want to learn how to play an instrument. You can't say, oh, I want to learn how to play this instrument in two weeks' time, because mm -hmm. it's <laughs> not... It's not specific, you don't know which, which song, like I can say, I want to learn how to play the national anthem and all of that. So, when you say your goals must be measurable, you mean your goals, you must have a specific timeline you want to use those goals for and how long you're going to use or learn those goals. Then when you say your goals must be achievable, <laughs> you don't say, I want to be a terrorist. That's, that's not achievable. Mm -hmm. So you give goals like, I want to be a pastor, I want to be a singer, or goals that you can achieve or attain at your age and time. And you, yeah, you say your goal should be realistic, then there must be something that you can do. Mm -hmm. Like something like, um, I want to be uh, an actor, an actress, stuff like that. You can say, I want to be a cartoon character. That doesn't make sense. And when it comes to being time bound, so when you're setting your goal, you should know like, okay, how many years will it take me to achieve this goal? How long it will it be? That's why you came on with the explanation of the different types of goals setting. We have the long-term goals and the short-term goals. So when you're setting your goals, you should be able to know that, okay, I want to um, learn how to play the keyboard. So you don't just say, I want to learn how to play the keyboard. You need to like go on and research, find out how many years it will take you to um, learn how to play the keyboard. And from there, you'll be able to know how much effort and energy you need to put in into it daily. So you need to also increase your willpower and take and celebrate every step you achieve or obtain when you set your goals or when you achieve a goal. That's what you need to do. And first things and the main points of everything while goal sets, while doing your goal setting is Starting a or to start a relationship with God. Okay, so now I'm going to take the prayers. Please close your eyes as you join in. In Jesus' name, I have a Father, I worship your name, we give you all the glory. Thank you, Jesus, for what you have done in our life. Thank you for bringing us to this beautiful year. Your name is exalted in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, as we set our goals, we pray you give us knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to do a proper setting in the name of Jesus. We pray by the end of this year, all our goals will all be achieved in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for answering our prayers. Your name is exalted, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe, click on the notification bell and like this video. Thank you. Have a blessed week.